In spite of all talk by government to promote education, especially amongst girls in the country, it seems there is a lot that require fixing. Sopa CDSS in Mchinji has registered a total of 111 dropouts from school due to pregnancies over a period of three academic years starting 2012. This, according to the school's headmaster, Jonathan Magombo, is mainly because the learners are on self-boarding facility where they lack supervision and monitoring either by parents or teachers. The girls opt to go for self-boarding because commuting from home is practically impossible for it would mean covering two stretches of 30 kilometers a day. The statistics which I have uh, for 2012-2013 academic year, we had about 49 learners. And uh, in this 2013-2014 uh, academic year, we had uh, 35 learners. And the last academic year, that's the 2014-2015 academic which just ended last July, we had 27. And already in this new academic year, 2015-2016, which have just gone by four, months, uh, five, four weeks, we have already two out of the school due to pregnancy. So that's very true that this school we have that such kind of cases of high top outlet due to pregnancies. Most of these learners which get pregnancies are learners that are doing self body So when they are doing self body they have no security. They are under us as teachers when they have come to school, maybe from half past seven up to uh, half past five o'clock, being a committed day on the school, where the policies like they are coming from their parents, but in actual sense they are coming from the homes which they are managing themselves. And others take advantage of that, of that vulnerability status, and then they end up uh, getting into such kind of pregnancies. One of such girls who delivered her baby on 1st October, Mercy, says that insufficient resources led to her to indulge in unprotected sex with a man in the school's vicinity who started taking care of her financial needs. I usually left for school without breakfast. Sourcing relish was another challenge. Then I found myself a sexual partner to find a start. And at the end, I became pregnant. However, my passion for education is still there. Mercy's mother acknowledges having given her daughter insufficient supplies. In spite of her disappointment with the development, she hopes Mercy can still go back to school. Unless hostels are built at the school, more girls shall continue getting pregnancies because men in the neighborhood abuse these girls without fear so much that even landlords do fear for their lives. One night, the young men invaded the girls' hostel in our compound, and my husband woke up to check what was happening. There was quite a hassle. The men locked themselves inside the girls' hostel so much that my husband had to break in. The men beat him before running away. Now we are no longer offering renting services to these girls because it has proved to be risky on our part. Life at Sopa CDSS is so unbearable for all self boarding girls because apart from the risk of pregnancies, the girls have to spare time for drawing water from the 
learn boho, wash their dishes and clothes and go to school. Yet, they are also expected to do studies during their free time. My day begins with drawing water from the boho where it takes me two hours. Then I come to the hostel and clean the dishes, prepare breakfast and get ready for classes. Honestly, there is no security here. No one to guide me or protect me. I feel very vulnerable. For Nation Online, I am Jacob Nankonya.